rental window in 2014 and there's a lot of business still to be done. The fact of the matter is, I think the general public, we don't really understand how those deals are done. So um, I brought somebody here today who can explain that in perfect crystal clarity. This is Jenny Morley, who is the CEO from New Era Global Sports and he looks after Rio Ferdinand alongside another a range of, of, of top stars, uh, real emerging talent across the Football League. Now, Jamie, can you explain to us in uh, as simple terms as possible, how does the transfer take place? Um, chief executives of buying and selling clubs come together, phone call, whatever they want to do. Uh, player availability, uh, yes he is. Um, fee, okay. one, two, three, four, five million, agreed. At that point then, um, the club will call me and say we've had a bid by Club right. X. We've got the fee, here's the fee. We've got the player, okay, right, that's right. and then the phone conversation takes place. So the chief executive um, of the buying club will be giving you a call. Um, the selling club will okay. call me and say, listen, we've, we've accepted a bid for one of your clients. Um, okay, I, 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 obviously. Um, what I'll do then, I'll get on the phone to the, uh, the chief executive of the buying club and say, right, okay, I'll take it, you've had a bid accepted. What are the personal terms? Can we get together and obviously uh, thrash out some terms to make sure that this deal is right for my client? Because okay. if my client's going to be leaving, I want to make sure that the, uh, all the personal requirements uh, within the body of the contract are right for him for, uh, for his future. Okay, and is that generally quite a quick process? Is that days? Is that hours? Is that... No, it's, it, it, it's, it's hours really, um, you know, some email tennis or a meeting or, you know, a couple of phone calls, you know, or, or all of those put together. But ultimately, you know, you, you, you have, a, you have uh, some money to work with and it's just about creating the guts of that contract and making sure that you use that money wisely uh, within the contract to make sure you get your player the best deal. Okay, so contract normally looks something like this, about, about a thousand pages. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and this is this is the bread and butter for you. I mean, this is when you guys obviously are going in there and you're earning your money. You're you're making sure that your client is getting what he deserves. Yes, sure. I mean, you, you want you you want to have a strong contract for your player. You know, the boys have a short career, so each contract needs to be um, right <clears throat> right for the player, and he needs to be happy. And uh, on top of that, you've also for the for the contract to be happy and the player to be happy within the football, you need to look at the style of play. It could be the location, um, everything needs to be right, it's just not the case of always down to, down to money. You need to look at the manager, you, you know, is he going to play? So there's different... It's, it's pointless placing a, um, a creative midfielder in a team which is going to play long ball over the top or just going to put the balls out, out from the full backs and then out to your wingers. I mean, you need to have the right players in the right teams, don't you? Yeah, that's right. You, that's also got to be looked at, you know, you, you want to make sure that the player uh, also, the, the manager is buying the player because the manager picks the team, we should on most occasions. So you get the player together with the manager so he can say, you know, yep, you're going to fit into my system, you're going to be the linchpin or you're going to be the centre half, you're going to play the ball out the back or if you're a centre forward, I want you to come short or I want you to run the channels. So obviously the manager has a big say in making sure that the, uh, the player wants to come and play for him mm. so that he's going to play because ultimately the Glads, you know, they, they sign these big contracts but football is what they want to play, they want to play football. And the, old, old, the ideal scenario is that they're brought into a club, they play, and then they get sold on down the line, and the whole formation, the whole transfer scenario starts again, but yeah. the fees are just greater, and yeah. everybody wins. So how important is it for you that at the next stage, the <coughs> fee is greater, and that the, the player has done well on that contract he negotiated, he's lived up to what was expected of him, and you know, there's success there in the story of that transfer because agents get a bad rep, um, but it's important. Yeah, I think it's a personal success for the player that he's gone and done well. Um, it's a personal achievement on the on the, on the agent, the fact that he's he's got the right deal, the player's executed it and done well. And not only that, you're going to get second and third opportunities and longevity within the chief executives and the chairman and owners of football clubs. If you bring a talent in there in for two million and they sell him in two years uh, for four million, make a hundred percent return on their money, they're going to be back on the phone asking you, you know, have you got any more of that? So, the um, same way that if you put a player in and he under he underachieves or you know he's not what the what, what was on the team and you've you've, you've re basically you've sold him a dud, 
then you know they're not going to be coming on the phones when you can burn your bridges. Mm -hmm. So it is an important business, and it is you know you have to you build your relationships up um, if you want any kind of longevity in this business. And how much are you looking forward to deadline day, or are you hoping yeah. that everything's out of the way before that point? No, I'm sure we're going to get a few bits and pieces done, get a few renegotiations done early doors. Uh, there'll be some activity um, the last few days, there always is. We've got a stable that's strong enough that will create interest. Um, you know, my boys seem happy where they are at the moment, but that can all change. Uh, we're ready, and uh, so long as it's right for the players, we'll do the deals. Fantastic. Good talking to you, Jack. Thank you. Cheers, mate.